Wah. 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 Shit, where's the... Great, we're off to a brilliant start today. Wah. 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 Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Ghost Light Garden. I'm your host... The guy who's fucking it all up today, and his name is Bone Score, right there on the sign. You can read it, check it out. Hey, there it is. Today, oh boy, today, today's the day. Um, today we're hanging out. Ah. Sorry, just dealing with stuff in meat space. Um, today we're hanging out. We're playing some Death's Door. We're gonna try and finish. Death's Door today, I think. We're going to push forward to the end and see the credits. And I don't know about after that. So that's that. That's what's happening. Y'all ready? I hope so. Hope y'all are ready for some, some Death's Door. I've been thinking and I've been wondering and I've been thinking and wondering about... Hey, how come... Um... How come crows don't fly in this? How come the Boyds don't fly? They sort of just like plummet off of the the get dang. Uh... Oh, that's way too loud. Let's pump that down, like there. Let's see how that is. How is that? That's fine. That's better. Um. Yeah, if I, like, fall into a pit or off a cliff or whatever, I seem to just fall. Um, which is some bullshit. Some fucking bullshit. I should be able to fly. I'm a goddamn bird. Or a drone or whatever. And I have magic. Like, what's that about? You see? You see? You see what I'm talking about? Just... Oh boy, ooh. Oh, it's like that today, huh? Oh, I hope it's not like that all day. Computer was kind of slow starting up today, so I don't know. I may need to, like, save an exit or something. Ooh. Ooh, not great. Yeah, you know what? Why, before I get going too far, why don't I do that? Why don't I? Why don't I just quit the desktop? Just quit the whole thing, and then let's just boot the game up again. And hopefully, it'll run a little bit better this time. Oh, damn it! Hold on. There we go. I don't know why, but my, my game windows always start, like, like, lower than they should. Like, I don't have the option to hit the button to maximize the, the view there, but they, um, they always start, like, like, with this little gap between the top of the the window and like the top of my screen and I have to fucking adjust it every single time. And I don't know why it does that. I don't know why they start there. Oh boy. Okay, so it's like no better. Hmm. I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's just like my computer like did an update or whatever and it, it just needs like a like a reboot. We'll see how things go from here. What does this do? Sorry, can I light that? For a second, I can light that, and then it doesn't do shit. Okay. Well, I will do my best to explore, and... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, this, oh. Knew I'd get hit by one of them.
Yeah. Oh, I'm out. Shit. Uh. <clears throat> there we go. Blah bam, doing it. Woo! Uh oh. Woo! Forgot which button was my roll button for a second. Okay. Hiya! So I think I actually want to be planting these whenever we find them. Um, I think there's something about like you gotta find all the seeds and you gotta plant them in all of the pots in order to get the the secret ending, but I don't know what all if that's like the specific case or if, if I have access to all of them right away or like if I have to beat the game first or what. Bam. Ah, shit. I got bammed. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, the bow doesn't go, like, upstairs. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, man, I should have done the fireball, because it lights them on fire, doesn't it? Ah, shit. Oh, hey, Logneko's here. Welcome. Welcome, bud. How are you? Hope all is good. Hope you're doing well today. Um, oh look, there's another one to replace the one that I just spent. I really should have been planting those everywhere. God, I have too many. Lognaka said, I did some Elden Ring stuff. Ooh. What sort of Elden Ring stuff did you do? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, just smacked by the little gremlin. Oh, and he's dancing on my body, that little shit. Oh, that son of a bitch. Well, damn. Oh, yeah, drop attack. Assassinate him. Assassinate his balls. No more kids for you. Uh, beat Millennia again in under an hour? Oh, nice. That's rather impressive. How many times have you uh, gone through and beaten her so far? Because that's got to be at least like two or three, right? Oh, oh. Okay, I don't know why I turned around. Because I definitely held the stick towards him the whole time. Um, did have to do a lot of Ronnie's underground stuff. I'm quite strong now, so it wasn't a problem. That's all right. I think I only gave her the one at attempt, like on stream that we did, and uh, here we go. Yeah, I don't think I ended up actually, like, beating her. I think I went in to fight her right after they launched that patch. Where, um... Like, she was healing with every attack or something like that. So I just sort of gave up after a number of attempts. Oh, you bitch. You fucking asshole. Yeah, oh, fire's definitely the right way to go. <clears throat> you done it four times? Twice with help and twice with a summon? Oh, goddamn. Huh. Two, 
country. Oh god damn. They take a few more than I would appreciate. Ah, the Lazar. Damn it. Ah. That wasn't what got me last time, but... You use Teach? The Assassin Summon that jumps around? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of different guys that, like, all play differently uh, that you can summon in that. It's very hard to to pick which ones are, like, good for each situation. I found that the Crystallian summon was really good for a number of fights, because he's, he's basically... I mean, he's as tough as... Uh, He's as tough for most of the other enemies as uh, he is for you to fight. Ooh. I had no idea there was a goddamn uh, chain attack. Oh man, and it looks like it's real powerful too. Huh. Okay, get over here is a real good move it seems. Doesn't work with a heavy attack though. Oh man, and it confuses the shit out of him. Oh, that was over real quick. I don't know if it's a good sign or bad, but I remember most places in that game now with each dungeon location. I mean, it's a really large game, so, like, that means that you've got a really good, like, map memory, like, 3D spatial arrangement and that kind of thing. Haha! Ha. Oh, I didn't expect the laser to get him. Ooh, ooh, but I can make it work for me now. Lasers in my corner. Shit. Shit. Laser's still in my corner. Now, did I end up using the heal this time? I don't think so, because that, that chain move is really good. Yeah, there we go. Let's consume it. Consume. Um, <clears throat> so this is weird, but what is the goal of this game to reach? Are you becoming a Death Reaper? So, as far as I can tell, um, so, plain and simple, um, like we are uh we are a reaper working we were supposed to collect a soul and the soul that we were sent to collect was stolen um and we're kind of like on the hook for that in various means um so we uh we kind of have to go we're kind of going through all of this bullshit, basically, to get back the soul that was stolen from us uh, so that we can punch out and, uh, you know, I, I, I guess not get fired or something? I don't know. I think the old crow said that, like, the downside of having the, the soul stolen is that my door remains open which means that I'm mortal. So I guess, like, I'm gonna get old and I'm gonna die at some point. Which otherwise wouldn't happen if I had done my job right. Hmm.
To be fair, I did do my job right, and then the old crow came out of nowhere, um, and fucking, like, knocked me out. Bashed me on the head and stole my shit. It's a weird loophole. So, like, as far as I can tell, their whole thing is that, like, their deal... The crows are employees of death, I guess. And they're supposed to collect the souls. Um, and the, in exchange for working for death and doing that, they're immortal. Um, but they have to go through the doors, like, to teleport the, to wherever the soul is that they need to get. Um, and so long as the door is open, um, they're mortal and they're vulnerable. Which is the whole, like, caveat behind their, uh, their power and employment, I guess. It is still weird, you're right. Um, there seems to be something... So it, appe it appears there's some guy named the Lord of Doors who is in charge of, like, these doors that teleport places. Um, there have been successive lines of them who have all had deals with death. Um, and I don't quite know what the nature of that relationship is or the deal they've made. Um, but it seems that the commission, which is, I guess, the company or the group of crows that work for death as reapers... Um, the commission's been having, like, slower and worse business, quote-unquote, over time. I guess, like, modern medicine, etc., people are dying less, um, so there's less souls to collect, yada yada. Um, but there's a group of crows who decided that, like, their whole situation wasn't worth... It wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth the deal... Um, so they decided to just leave, and they're holed up out here in the mountains somewhere. And their whole thing is like, um, an immortal lifespan isn't worth it if we have to spend that whole lifespan working for death and doing this job and being slaves to the, the system that he's built. Um, we'd rather take our chances and live out our numbered days, like, on our own doing what we want. Which, like, you know what? Fair. Uh, dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Uh, a bit... <laughs> Can you imagine the, the horrid music that the bagpipe staff must be making up here? A bit of bad weather's never... De Turned me before, especially with the beast so close now. I wonder what it looks like based on what the crow said. Sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. Can't wait to see you fight it. Oh, that dude just like ran to his death. Good for him. It's a guy that knows what he wants. Oh no. Oh no, I can't. I can't now. Oh, it's horse shit. It's trash garbage baloney. Oh, so is this. My apologies, guys. Oh, it's not great. Oh, and then I got hit as a result. Hit and knocked off several times. Oh, that's wonderful. Hope that doesn't happen during a boss fight. Man. Oh, what's a guy to do from here? I wanted that seed. Won't blame the crows. I don't think it's a neat solution either. Oh, oh fuck. I mean, they seem to be doing all right. They're hanging out up here in the mountains. They've got, uh, they've got nice, warm, comfy-looking nests. There's like a like a, a beast up here in the mountains or whatever that like 
won't die for some reason and uh, like it just like sheds its fur every once in a while and and the fur like just like drifts down on the winds and they collect it and make their nests out of it They look really cozy. Haha, I did it this time. Oh no. Okay. So I'm boxed in by lasers. Ha <laughs> Nailed it! Fucking stunned him with the flame. Oh, damn it. Tried to do it again. Oh! Oh, damn it. Okay. So, I don't think I have iframes when I'm rolling, because, like, I went into the laser and got cooked. Big cook. Hey, I'm... Huh. I'm not... Right, yeah. I'm not able to check my goddamn... Fuck it, god damn it. Not able to check my stats. Unless I go back. I hate that. I actually dislike that a lot. Oh, you shit. You, you actual shit. No! Wow. shit. Oh! He can totally get me on the backswing with that. Alright. Oh! Christ! And I roll right into that one. God damn it. Oh. Lognego said, I almost forgot I bought a bag to make buns today since it's a holiday here. Well, you bought a bag to make buns? Like, like a bag of dough or something? Either way, holiday baking is pretty cool. I think mom made her, uh, all her Christmas cookies for the, this year on the weekend, which is nice. Couple of, of buckets of cookies in the fridge now, or the, the freezer rather. It's a pre-made mixing bag with wheat and stuff. Oh, okay. You just need water and melted butter. Okay. Baking made simple. That's that's interesting. I think... Um, oh, I have just enough. Perfect. I think Hyde's given me a couple of those um, for Christmas. Um, they're like... Is this the one? It's like exactly that. Um, it just needs like water and butter. But uh, they come on... Um, they come with these like small little cast iron frying pan things. Uh, like little skillets or whatever. And uh, they actually make just like really massive like cookies or, or like like flat muffins or something. I think the last two he got me, I think he got me one that was like a big, uh, like gooey chocolate chip cookie, and the other one was, um, it was the same thing, but it was like a Kit Kat. It came with like a Kit Kat that you were supposed to break up and put in it as well, which is really good.
Those are real neat. A nice quick little, like, holiday baking thing, and then you get the the little mini skillet afterwards to... I don't know, I haven't really made anything with them yet. I probably should. I should find something to make with them. I should make, like, a single egg on them. Oh, I don't know why I didn't deflect that magic shot. Christ. Alright. Ah, shit. I was paying too much attention to the... to the magic. And not to the guy. Okay, alright. Oh. Where are they? There he is. Ha ha! He burned in the nether. In the void space where he occupied. Alright. Boy, do I need this. We'll do it right now. Actually, it won't take long. I don't make a mess when I mix it. I have a mixer that I use by hand. I want one of the bigger ones to do it for me. Yeah, I think Mum's got one of those. It's really, um, it's really big though. It takes up a lot of room on the counter. It's heavy and kind of a pain in the ass to pull out. Pull. Oh. Burn. Oh, he hit me. I guess that's what I get for running around and shooting them. Yeah! Oh, man. That chain attack is so rad. I feel like I should go back here real quick and just all right just wanted to take a look and make sure Ooh, you guys suck oh oh rolled right into it Yeah, shortcut acquired. Yeah, eat shit, big guy. Aw, yes. And this... Where the hell does this go? Shortcut's back to there. And that goes up there. Wait. Where the hell does this go? Ah, 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 hold on, ah, something got in my eye real quick there, ah, fuck. Oh, that was like sharp and sudden, ow. Felt like somebody tossed a really small stone like right into my eye. Like, not like the gradual buildup of, like, the itch or burn, um, that comes with, like, like, having an eyelash in your eye, um, no, like, like, this sudden sharp sensation of, like, stone in your eye. Like, ow. Fuck, sorry, guys. Sitting here rubbing my face off camera, you guys can't even see it. Oh, Christ. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, that doesn't stop him. Shit. I thought maybe it might. So I'm clearly going the wrong way. But it's okay because I have a shortcut that I can take to go the other way. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, it breaks them. Not great, but I dealt with it. Oh, hello. Wizards on ice, huh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, the momentum. Oh, you slip and slide around. Oh, okay. What is going on here? Whoa! Ooh, hoya! Yeah! C -c -c combos All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Let me just get that seed. Woo. So, I guess I did go the right way. Presumably that's going to lead to the Oh, yep. To the other part. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. A uh, duh. This is the... Yeah, yeah, you go out that way in there. Okay, alright. I know where I am. Didn't realize that that gate didn't go down when I hit the other switch. Thought I could totally go in here already. Ooh, ooh, that took him out right away. Alright. Ooh, 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 Beyblades now, huh? Ghost Beyblades, right. Magic Exploding Ghost Beyblades. Well, I, they're, they're less like Beyblades and more like dreidels. If we're being real. Or those, uh... Those weird spinny tops that you wind up with the string that, like, Beyblades are based on. Apparently you can do all kinds of, like real cool tricks with those similar to like like yo-yo stuff tossing it up and catching it with the string and, and like having it like wind up your arm and shit like that some neat stuff Ah. Ooh, knocked him right off. Woo. It seems like if I can like put some distance between myself and those big hammer guys, um and then, like, bait them into, like, throwing their grenades. Um, that's, like, the perfect time to use the chain attack and, like, close in on them and get a few hits. I'm just gonna plant in every single one of these that I come across now. Um, just on the off chance that, like... It's harder to come back here later or whatever. Old watchtowers border the forbidden region. So I know there was a door in there. Uh 
Oh, this is clearly something I don't have. It's like those circle teleport thing. Oh, man. I'm almost near the end of the game, and I still don't know what the fuck those things are. If they're post-game shit, I'm going to be real upset. This is it. That's the beast. Oh, boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to stay well out of the way and uh, take notes for my song. Good luck. Y'all do that right... Betty's Lair. Betty. Your clothes are red now. And I am nice man with happy feelings all of the time. Yeah, alright. Oh, alright. Yeah, alright. Yeah, get fired on. Whoa! Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, dash in, attack, and then roll out. But you gotta time your shit well. Lest he stomp your ass. You know what I'm just realizing? I'm, I'm rather disappointed in. Um, in this game. Shit. It's the fact that there's no, uh. Oh, shit. No, uh, single pip heals. Like, you've either gotta, like, go through a door and come back and, like, fully recharge or you've got to hit one of those plant things and it's a full heal but there's no like breaking jars or whatever to get like a single pip heal or whatever right like they don't th there's no like mid boss phase where like debris falls from the ceiling and sometimes there's a heart in one of them fuck Ah, nah, yeah. Ah, ah, shit. God damn it. Oh, I guess I'm rolling too soon. This one's tough. I mean, he's not doing a whole lot, he's just, he's doing it fast. And he's big. Oh, shit. He's got, ooh, he's got really good tracking, too. Yeah, I'm gonna just, like... Keep my distance as best I can. And oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and just try to like keep him on fire if I can. Shit. Fuck. And I just got like, f yeah, I got forced all the way to the other side with that roll. So my distance was, like, completely ruined. Fuck. God damn it! Oh, shit. God damn it. My aim. Fuck. I keep rolling like way too early. 
I can see that. Well, oh, oh. it's a panic reflex. That's why. Ugh, fuck. Ah, oh, get out of there. Just gotta stay calm and watch my ah oh, my spacing. Well, that was not watching my spacing. Like, is it just me or is he like really? Is he rather quick? Like, it's not just, like, the, like, his quickness. I think it's, like, his quickness and, uh, in combination with, like, how large and wide his hitboxes are. Which you would think would make him, like, way easier to hit, right? Just makes it easier for him to hit me. Oh, shit. I keep trying to use the roll to get, like, distance away from him. And then, like, I don't have enough recovery to use it to dodge out of the way. Like that, see? Like, I tried to get away from him, and I couldn't use it to just, like, 90 degree dash out of his way. Ah, oh, fuck. Did I still manage to dodge him? Ah! Oh! Dodging him ain't worth shit if I can't hit the beast. God damn it! Fuck, why did I do- Oh, and now he's throwing snowballs! Yep, was waiting for that. Oh. Okay. Woo! Damn it. Come on. Damn it. Damn it. I I rolled too fast. Way too fast. <sighs> Haven't been watching it needs buns to rise for five minutes before I shape them and then rise for another forty minutes. I think that's kind of neat how the dough, like, rises. You let it sit there and it just, like, puffs up. Oh, fuck. God damn it. definitely want to hit him with the fire as much as possible. Because it'll... Damn, oh, fuck. It'll do damage while I'm not. God damn it! Ugh. Fuck. It would help if I could aim at him properly. Come on. No. I fucking... I felt it. I rolled way too soon. 
felt it as soon as I hit the button. Hmm. Oh, god damn it. For fuck's sakes. It would help. Ah. It would help if I could actually aim. I just want to see it hit him once. Oh, fuck. Fine. Fine. It's too slow. I just wanted to see it hit him once. But if it's too slow to cast, fine. Oh, he landed, like, right on me. Come on. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. It's like you make one mistake and then, like, you pay for it. With the whole round. For fuck's sakes, the spacing. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. This one's upsetting. This one's upsetting to fight. And you know what? I would absolutely probably have like a, a much better time if I had put points into my goddamn uh, movement speed. If I could run just a little bit faster and maybe dodge a little bit quicker, like between dodges, like with less of a cooldown, um, I think I'd have a better shot here. I really don't want to have to go and like grind for levels just to do this. How many? I, oh god, I'm so far from the thing. It'd be real great if there was a stat screen that I could look at to figure out where I am with it. Haste, 800. And then 1,000, and then 15,000, okay. Um, would be at least... A, I would need at least one point in there for it to make a difference, right? Is it worth it to go through and try to... Probably not, huh? Guess I could go back and look at, like, everything else. Try to, like, run my way through all the other areas and find anything I've missed. I'm gonna have to do that, like, 
post game though for the secret ending. So I don't know if I want to do it like a third time. Damn it. For fuck's sakes. Oh god damn it! Jumping over my shots, jumping into me, rolling into me. God damn it. And I just, I don't have enough of a... Like, there's, there's too much of a cooldown between my rolls. I can't roll fast enough. Oh my god. Oh my god! You're fucking jumping. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus fucking shit. God, he's so fucking aggressive. God with the jumps. So one of the most infuriating things in any game is missing your attack because the enemy just jumped over it. Like what am I? A fucking Goomba? Am I just some some fucking Koopa shell? Sliding around on the floor for you to hop over. Oh, eat shit and go fuck yourself. God. Fucking damn it. I just don't have enough, like, I don't have the movement speed to, like, double dodge, and I don't have the casting speed to whip out, like, two before he jumps away. I've gotta, like, shoot once. I've gotta, like, wait for him to stop doing anything and then go in or shoot Jesus Christ Yeah fucking oh god damn it on the roll so he fucking tracks me if I do it too early god even when I do it at the right time it looks like I'm just barely being missed oh my god god that shockwave is so huge God 
damn it. All right. Just keep moving. Oh, God. Okay, real easy, real careful. Just one swing and move. Wait, f oh fuck. Careful. Swing and move and shoot and move and shoot. Damn it. And move. Fuck, I keep getting caught on the walls. And swing and move and swing and move. And swing and move. And shoot. Oh, great. Ceiling balls now. And, okay, I really need to, like, switch directions or something, because, like... Getting hooked on the walls here. Swing and move. And shoot and move. And shoot and move. And swing and move. Damn it. Swing, move. No. Move. And shoot. There we go. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that sucked. That fight fucking sucked. And you know what? Maybe that's on me. For not grinding out more levels into my fucking movement speed or my casting speed. But holy shit. Maybe there should be some more fucking soul rewards for, for you know, taking people out. Maybe guys in the final zone shouldn't be worth three souls apiece. Huh, video game? What kind of fucking balance is that? Like, the, the enemy balance, for the most part, seems to be, like, perfectly fine. Like, in terms of difficulty in fighting dudes. But, like, I can definitely tell that, like, a lot of the problems that I had with this fight were due to the fact that, like, I'm just not fast enough at either moving or shooting, or, or being able to, like, dodge one after another, right? Um, there's, like, a full, like, two seconds between, like, my dodge roll and then when I can roll again. Um, it's outrageous. And, like, yeah, absolutely, I'd be able to, like, deal with that way better if I had put more points into those. However, then my... Like, my attack speed would be lower, my damage would be much lower, um, if I had chosen to put those, like, use those points instead. Um, otherwise I'm having to go out and grind, like, thousands of souls, where enemies are dropping, like, like, two to three souls apiece. Like, this is fucking stupid, man. It's balanced in, like, it's balanced, but it's unbalanced in, like, the weirdest ways. And, like, I... His opening attack there where, like, he leaps at you and does the double fist slam and it sends out the big shockwave, that shockwave seems a little big. 
seems a little large uh considering like the size of the arena and the fucking movement speed that I have coming in here I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm just maybe I'm just jonzing but I didn't care for that uh wild untamable beast this big ass furry harder than it should have been who gives a shit? It's dead now. Oh, and look at that. I, I killed the boss. I killed... What is that? Like, the third major boss. And I got just barely enough for one level. And that's because I already had, like, 200 souls before I came in here. That's fucking stupid, man. Incredible adventure this has been, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same. Amazing. That means that the drunken guys of the stranded sailor were in love with the Beast? Wait, was there some sort of Beauty and the Beast thing going on? But it was both? I didn't even know that... Okay. I was like, huh, Betty. Weird name for... I, I guess because it's a Yeti? But it's a beast, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Look at the little guy following me in. And then he disappeared. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend that level on my fucking movement speed. Purchase 12 stat upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. Considering I only, like, hit, like, once and then moved, I guess spending that... What was it? Thousand fucking souls on a... On a... An attack speed upgrade was probably stupid. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I guess I know that we put it in there now, into the fucking movement speed. Lost Cemetery, Grove Spirits. Lost Cemetery is where I'm headed to, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, the fuck is in here? Oh, wait. No, I did this already. Didn't I? Yeah, I did that one. Pretty sure. I'm just gonna take a peruse through here just to make sure I've planted seeds everywhere I can. Let's go this way. I gotta go this way. I think I gotta go up there, actually, but I'm gonna... Go here just to check for the seeds. There's nothing over here. Ah, oh, shit. And this just goes, like, back up and around, right? Nothing. Ooh, there's something down there. Big old door I can't get to yet. At least I don't think I can. Hey. Hell is in here? Oh, look at that. That's nice to have. Hell is over here. Uh, oh, there was like a shrine down here or something, wasn't there? Or is it just yeah? I guess it wasn't just a uh, a pickup. Okay, 
so where all right that's right above the door and this will go back around that will lead out there i think Ooh, what is that down there is that <gasps> ah Hold on. I know I'm not, like, anywhere near where I'm actually supposed to go, but, uh... I thought I had dealt with what's down here already. Guess not. Ooh! Oh, damn. Well, it's nice that they're, like, consistent in their difficulty and their payoff. If you can find one of them, like, close to a spawn point, that's decent farming, I guess. There we go. Was this three out of four? Offers you shrine. Shrine offers you crystal shard. Three out of four. Okay. So that takes care of that. And I've explored the whole other side of this area, I guess. So we'll head back up here. And wait a minute. There was something. Simple structure has a twin. Hidden secret lies within. Yeah, where is that structure? I don't remember where it is. I remember seeing it. I just don't remember where. I wonder if that has to do with... Uh, that weird thing that I tried to unlock before. That treasure I couldn't get at. Certainly been keeping me busy, however, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but gives me a sense of purpose. Hey, how about this? Can I not... All. If I could do the chain attack to him, that, that would be probably like the strongest thing I could throw at him. Oh, you're telling me that's nothing? Oh, man. I seen that crack in the wall. All right, well, I guess there's nothing here. And I gotta go, what, over here? There we go. Hey, old man, I did it. You did it, yeah, I, I just said that. <laughs> You're a much stronger reaper than I. I couldn't have never taken down those giant souls alone. Uh, it is time, at long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. This guy's really cool. Asshole.
but really cool. And there it is. And now to the other side. This is it. This is the place beyond where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Fuck. Tell that's death. It's just some guy. Are you? Are you death? I thought the tales of the original Reapers were, were just the mad ramblings of the Free Crows. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I, you know, I guess that's me. So, if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? I, no, I'm sorry, we're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us? Wow, rude. <laughs> but alright. I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's your door. Uh, we are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission, otherwise we will die. Oh. Awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create a new life. That's why my job was so important, not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. Wish I could let them know dying isn't scary, it's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. Then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of the doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead, a lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for the li their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives, each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the Aether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your Lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the Aether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape, no way for stray souls to pass on to the Aether, no death among the living. And that would be why business has dried up at the commission. I've been here, alone, ever since. But... My assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. 
Oh, shit. No. But no, though. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. Okay, I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's decaying into a demonic thing. Oh, and death just fucked off. He's like, nah, whatever. I ain't about it. Oh, magic crow thingies. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh, fucking shit. Oh. Oh, my depth perception there was off. Doors ask you to try again. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So, kind of the same as the last fight, eh? Just avoid him, stick and move, shoot him as much as I can. Fuck. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, avoid those things. You know, I might actually be able to make use, yeah, of that. Fuck. He can do it to me, but I can't do it to him. Poor shit. Ah, oh, damn it. So best to get him like after he stops moving, is that it? And you can hit his things back at him if you aim it properly. And it appears like there is like a finite range to the chain move. Oh, damn it. Couldn't get out of there in time. Oh, damn it. Did I get hit by the goddamn bird projectiles? Fuck. Damn it. Ooh, he did not want to get hit by that big cloud of dudes. Man, he's not doing a whole lot, but it's really cool. Like, just the, the little crow projectiles and the chain attack is really neat. Uh-oh. Oh, man, he ran over me. Is he transforming? No, he spit something out. What is that? Oh, it's like a black hole. Shit. I have to get away from it. Oh, 
Oh, you can shoot it. Okay, didn't realize. Careful. Oh, damn it. Okay. You can totally shoot the black holes. Gotta... Gotta remember that. Okay. Ah, shit. Damn it. Did that to myself. Shouldn't attack him, like, head-on when he's coming at me like that. Wait for it. And... Damn it. Missed with both of them. I will hit you with your own shit. Damn it. But not if he runs over me. Mm. Fuck. I keep like barely missing him with them. Fucker, he jumped right over them. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck. Okay, I did that to myself. going on what's with the oh what the hell happened there was I supposed to like fight the cloud of crows I didn't realize that was I felt like I was slowing down a bit but I didn't think uh I didn't really think anything of it. Shit. Damn it, how did I miss with both of those? It's right there in front of me. that black hole thing. Yep. Uh, 
I appreciate that he's got like a nice slow uh, telegraph for that thing. And it looks like you can attack those birds. Okay. Wait for it. And... Fuck. Gonna just hit the birds. And to hell with everything else. Yeah, you thought you had me with your gravity shit. Oh. Come on. How did I only get like one pip of magic for hitting both of those birds? Ah, oh, shit. Did I do it? Did I hit him? Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! I wasn't even trying to hit him. Accidental finishing blow. Can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, anything. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? Saw a lot of that in my job, but until your lord of doors locked me up, never thought it would apply to me. Sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one having to reap him yourself. Can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down Lord of Doors. Uh, have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Well, that's encouraging. You got anything else to say? No, huh? Okay. One second. Ah, fuck. I had to get up and check something and I stubbed my toe. Ow. Uh. I should heal up. Come, little ones. Or don't. That's cool, too. Is that the way I want to go or do I want to go this way? I want to go this way. This is where the door is, isn't it? No, that's that's a whole other thing I'm down there. Uh what about this way? Where's the fucking door? If I go this way and up down here. And shit this way where's this put me though okay I know where I am now into the door oh wow my fellow crows we have arrived at a moment foretold long ago today death's door has been opened and death themselves has been freed once more into the world Fear not, for this is not the end of days, but the beginning of a bright new future. Forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years, and we crow has played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs, we must accept our fates, we must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope. 
It is time for the Lord of Doors to reign to end and for us to return to the natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these four spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon, a new age will begin, and a new world will teem with new life. For that to happen, final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordained. Crow the Free Death will have to end the Lord of Doors' reign. Beep bop boop de bo, hey. Oh, there it is. The final door. Welcome to the Soul Vault. You wanna do a last minute upgrade, homie? I'd love to, man. I'd love to, man. But I can't. I ain't got the points, man. I ain't got it. Oh, you gotta stay behind, little one. Sorry. Oh, he's coming with me. Alright, well. You and me. You and me, little guy. Let's let's go fight a boss together. Me and this little forest spear. All right, you ready, little dude? Together we go. <laughs> He's coming in with me. Oh, oh no, he stayed out there. Okay. Hey, buddy. No, you ain't shit, huh? You also ain't shit. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Nothing out there. Ain't nothing no how. The hell is this out here? God damn. Alright, well. Oh. I've been watching you, you little shit. I didn't think you'd do it. Here we are. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them and trained to take over the duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told the day on which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted dick. Obsessed with rules and order, how things had to be. The old fool never even gave me a name. Can you believe that? The audacity. How would your life play out if, if you knew the exact day you were going to die? If every moment of your existence revolved around its ending. I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable, but I cannot just let myself die. That would suck. So, you little shit, are you ready to fight for your life? Like, like me? Big ol' ooh. Ooh, look, ooh, he's just a big guy, huh? This is it? This is what you've got, huh? Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What, am I supposed to follow him in there? Oh, okay. They don't. Oh, you shit. Yeah, they don't want you, like, chaining to. Oh, fuck. Chaining to him. Oh, not fast enough. Oh, you little fucking shit. So he's just gonna take me, like, everywhere, huh? Ooh, what hit me? Are they explosives? It looks like they're explosives. 
Where does it... Oh, okay. That's generous to start me here. Oh, now I know what I'm dealing with. Okay. Oh, you fucking shit. It's not like with the witch, where, like... Um, like, there was, like, stun. And I could, uh... Oh, shit. And I could, like, chain stun her into, like, not doing anything. I wonder how many of these, like, you're scripted to go through. Should have seen that coming. Yeah. That chain attack doing its work. Didn't even get a chance to like summon anything out there. Kicked his ass too hard. Those are getting, like, real predictable. Oh, shit. Oh, he's, like, mimicking the boss fights, like, for all the places that, like, he goes to. Alright, where do I start from? Is it the beginning? Oh man, it's the beginning. I gotta do this whole thing all at once. Oh fuck, that sucks. <gasps> Damn it. But did you guys see that? Did you see me attack him? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh shit. You know. Oh god damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just restart that one. Fuck! Oh, and I knew that was coming too. Yeah! Damn it! Oh, that's twice now. Oh, man. I was doing so good on these parts. Fuck. if there was, like, any sort of heal available here. Oh, shit. I have the bad depth perception. Okay. 
here this time. Yeah, get that good attack in. Woo! Don't go off the edge. Just keep going forward. Almost got him. Oh, shit! Too slow. Damn it. Alright. Two, three. Okay. This again. So left, right, stay to the right, and then right, left, right. Way up. Left side, I think? Nope. Fuck. Well, now it's on the left. And there we go. Fuck. Ooh, didn't do that last time. Ooh. He's getting pretty busted there. Hmm. I wonder if that chain attack is really doing its, uh... Its work there. Oh! Oh, he dodged it that time. Fuck. wonder. No, okay. Well, you know, you gotta check these things. and calm. We can totally do this. Woo! Totally kick his ass. Alright. So I gotta stay to the right this time. And then the left. And then it's left again. And then right. territory, right? Oh, no, I did kind of do this before. I just did it poorly! Oh, like that! Well, at least I don't have to deal with the bulls the second time. <sighs> Alright, this is where I botched it. There we go. Okay. Oh, damn it. 
couldn't get that roll out. Oh, man. That's got to be, like, nearing the end, right? I feel like I've either got to, like, beat him in there, or it's in the next... Like, he'll come back here one more time, and then that's where I'll finish him off. Turned around after I do that uh, that chain attack. It's so weird. It's like I'm bouncing off of them. Oh shit! Well, I didn't expect that. this time. Damn it! I would like to try these out for this, just, just to see. Don't imagine it's going to do much, but uh, I just want to see how it feels. Whoa! I can still do that cool chain attack, so that's nice. And it's it comes out green now, so it matches the chain. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting, like... I feel like because the daggers are quicker, I have, like, a quicker recovery into, like, chain or dash after a combo. I could be imagining it, but I, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with them. it up. We can do this. We know how this runs. Yeah. All right. And nailed it. Okay. I'm going to nail you. that coming. Totally my fault on that one. And that one as well. Forced him out of this area, though. 
He doesn't really have too many more places to run, I don't think. This is a very strange choice for a, uh, like a final boss segment. Okay, where are you at now? Yep, yeah, I knew it. He doesn't have, like, anywhere else to run to. Did I get a heal for coming back in here? And everywhere else is blocked off. Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? To follow in the footsteps of the lords before me. To repeat the same things over and over. To what end? What is the point? If all we have... To, if we all have to die eventually. I suppose I will never know. Because I will never die. He's just gonna absorb all of the souls in the vault. Is this the real final boss? The last lord. Yeah, that looks like a proper fight. Alright. Woo! Very careful. Do not get slammed upon. So he's going to do everything that he did leading up in this fight. Okay. Oh. And he's going to do some other things too, it seems. That's going to be tough to avoid the lasers and the bulls. I appreciate that it just drops me right there, though. This is going to be one where I can only hit him like once or twice. Yeah, this is definitely like a hit him once move type of thing. try and combo him. It's a really interesting move he does there when he like slams and the pink flames come out. Looks very weird when he does it. Yeah, like, I can't tell if it- oh, if it's trying to track me, or if it's got, like, something else going on. Fuck. Yeah, I was trying to outrun both of those. Interesting that I haven't earned any souls, um, for trying this, as you usually do. Is he able to dodge that somehow? Okay. Ooh, ooh, he got me with that backhand real good.
Get out of there and shoot them. And move. And move. And move. And move. Wow, okay. Alright, and then pay attention to the whole fucking boss arena now. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, okay, I knew that. He does three. One, two, three. The third one's delayed. Ah, oh, shit. his his big laser attack oh He's doing this rolling thing a lot now. He doesn't want to punch me anymore. Not unless he can do that. Oh! Should have known better. One, two, and... There it is. Oh! And then he's got that backhand I gotta be worried about. Oh shit. One, two, get out of there. Two, get out of there. Those jars are coming out of there a lot faster now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, the curve on that pink thing. Damn. Man, and I'm at a point too now where like I can't go back and I can't like farm levels and <laughs> get anything else that I missed. I'm like, I'm locked in here now. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna last long here. Two. Go. Oh. 
Move, move. Super move. Yep, saw that backhand coming. When I dodged the roll, I was like, mm, he's gonna he's gonna swing around and hit me now. I could feel it. All right. One, two, delay third one. Roll. Oh! I seriously can't tell if those things are tracking me or not. Except for that. Doing alright, except for that part where I got run over by a bull. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that was my fault. One, two, three. Shit, I just, like, kept running towards that thing, didn't I? I thought I could roll, like, under him and go the opposite way. Two. Three. And then... Roll. Shoot. Whoa! He did not like that. I'm gonna try to avoid him as much as possible now. If he's gonna be doing that. Ooh, shit. Alright. Yeah, if he's gonna be doing burst attacks like that, then I gotta keep my distance afterwards. He's getting pretty cracked up there, though, so it looks like... Looks like he's, uh, he's coming undone. Two, and three, and four, and move, fuck. Should have figured that was the wrong timing to go in. One, two, three.
Ha! <laughs> I got him while he was floating away, dickbag. Shit. Well... Two... Three... Damn. Okay, I guess maybe not. Alright, so there is a bit of a tell before he does that burst attack. I didn't see it the first time. I've got like two seconds, it seems, to recognize that attack. Two. Three. And then swing... One, two, three. Yeah, take damage while you're dealing damage, fucko. Fuck. Oh, damn. Should have tried to shoot him again. Ah! Two. Three. Damn it. One. Two. Oh, I caught the ass end of that one. Fuck! Oh, I rolled right into it. Oh, damn. I will get him. Him and his big gray tone ass. Ah! Lasers, dodge the bulls. Okay. for a second. One, two. Got him with the fireball that time. Alright. Ooh. Oh, 
shit! Oh, fuck. Got out of there, like, just in time. Move. Oh. Dodged into the exploding jar. God damn it. Oh, damn it. I ran right into a bowl. <sighs> Fuck. Dodge you. Swing. He is not looking good. And he's done this like... How many times? Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. Hold on one second, folks. It looks like my dinner's ready. So I'm going to tab over. I'm going to go get my eats real quick, okay? I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. Had to go grab my spaghetti. Which I will go at between attempts here. Ah, damn it. Yeah, okay. It was, uh... Should not have been rolling like that. Okay, come on. You can do this. You can do this. That was a really solid run until I fucked it up. Two. 
One, two, three. One. Get out of there and shoot and shoot. Aw, oh, man. I was the one being shooted at. One, two, three. Yeah, burn while you laser. Get out of there. Ooh. Okay. Uh. One, two, three. <clears throat> One, two, three. And then I'll swing around and he might. Oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Lognego asks, how's the final boss going? Well, you tell me. Because he looks pretty... Pretty ready to suck my dick now. He's all, oh, please forgive me. Oh, no. And then he died. Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of lineage. Last Lord of the Doors. Oh man, does that mean that anybody who's left here in this space is like trapped here? Um, when the doors stop working? Some they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. They will be remembered for their part in the advancement of the door technology. <laughs> door tech. The ability to maintain order in a dying world. And their unwavering determination to avoid death, no matter the cost. Somebody giving a nice heartfelt eulogy to this guy, and people are going around town with the graffiti being like, FUCK THIS ASSHOLE! Hmm. Uh, living forever does sound nice, but also makes you go crazy. Yeah, that was kind of one of the, the huge things in this, apparently. Is that if you live too long, you degenerate into a fucking demon. Uh, their pursuits have been... have... wait. Their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say that what any of us would have done, given the same choices as this lord? Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respect, and in time, the world is over. Death just like chucks his soul into the goddamn void. So that's it, huh? You know, that seems like an ending to me. I mean, I guess you still gotta, like, take Death's soul out of the door and give it back to him. I presume that's what the true ending is all about. I gotta say, um, for what I'd have to do to get the secret ending, um, that'd be a bunch of time off camera, cause like, I'd basically have to play the whole game over again, um, 
Like, I'd have to go through every area, I think several times, to do all of the, the puzzle shit. Um, and all of that will be so that we can come back on camera and do, like, what I'm assuming is one boss fight, and then we'll get, like, a cutscene. Or two, maybe. Which we can probably assume is gonna be... Like, I don't know who the, the boss fight would be. But I can assume... That uh, the cutscene will be uh, the collection of, of Death's Soul Shard or whatever. And giving it back to him and then he, you know... Says how he feels about it and the natural order of the world is restored. But that doesn't seem like it's worth it for all the work that, like, doesn't seem worth it to do, I gotta say. Not for a stream. Not for, uh, not to come back on camera for, like, another hour, hour and a half. Um, just for that. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Logneco. It doesn't sound... I mean, I wouldn't mind playing the game through and going and seeing what some of the stuff was that I missed, but, um... Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that right now. Man, speaking of doing a whole bunch of dumbass bullshit off camera that wasn't worth it, um... <laughs> I, f I beat Spirit Fair last night. I managed to finish that, and boy, was that not worth it. That was super not worth it. Uh, as I got towards the end of the game, it did introduce a few more mechanics. Um, different, like, crafting things, which kind of sucked. Um, I think the... So there was a smasher. I don't know if you guys saw the smasher or not. Um, where, like, you just crush things into powder, which was kind of fun. You just mash the button and, and crush things, which is neat. Um, I think we did build that on camera um but i think the only other crafting station i got was like um it was like a forge or something and you pretty much just have to sit there and wait you gotta sit there and wait for the metal to cook and then you gotta hit the button but if you hit the button too much then you gotta wait um it's, it's fucking lame as hell Um, and I guess this is where we are post-game, huh? Um, it pretty much, uh, so Lognega says, lame ending, I assume. Um, pretty much, yeah. For those of you who did see Spirit Fair, um, there was, uh, anytime we took somebody to the Everdoor, uh, the souls would, like, go, th there was this long sequence where it took like five minutes to row the fucking boat and we'd barely get any dialogue, which I mashed through anyways because I didn't give a shit. Um, and then it culminates in a hug, a flash of light, and then a piss poor constellation in the night sky. Um, that's pretty much exactly what happened at the end. The final person went through the door, but because they were alone, there was no dialogue. Um, so I just watched them row the boat for like five minutes and then they turned into a constellation and that was it. The ending fucking sucked. And the whole of the game, not worth it to play up until that point. Not worth the time I spent. How boring? It was boring. The most exciting part of that whole game was, um... So the final, the final companion that you bring on board is, um, at least go out with the universe going boom or some shit. The world's collapsing. No, it's just that you're dying. You're, you've just been sick and dying the whole time. Um, and apparently the world that we're in in that game is some sort of like mirror world, some sort of spirit plain, I don't know, um, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, your, your character is just, like, dying the whole time, and it's, it's like, oh, it's your time, accept it, 
Um, but no, the the most exciting and like fun part of that whole thing is that the final companion you bring on board is a D and D nerd. Um, so his quest line involves you going around and like you got to pick up his buddies, you got to get snacks for the game, um, and then you sort of go on like a bit of like a like a fake quest where like you go around to some different locations around the world there um like you sail around and then you go and you you talk to some people do some stuff whatever um but then he um then he unlocks a mini game that you can do one of the ones like uh the resource collecting mini games like uh like when you got to collect the lightning in the bottle or whatever um this is really neat though where like the whole thing darkens like the the ship darkens and um you get these cardboard cutouts of uh like orcs popping up and you've got to like run into them to like knock them down and defeat them and uh like the final upgrade you get is this like burst of light that kind of works as like a ranged attack for that thing um and there's like a like a five second cooldown on it or whatever so you gotta like you you gotta save your your ranged attack to use on like the important guys it's kind of neat. It's like a it's like a mock battle scenario on the boat and it's like the like the closest thing that that game has to combat. Um It's kind of neat. I don't know. It was it was fun enough. Um And as a reward, you get XP potions, which is a crafting material, which is neat. Spent the whole game wondering, how do I get XP potions? What are they for? It's just a crafting material. It means nothing. It's, it's probably just like... It's probably just like an orange D20 in a bottle. But like, whatever. Uh, so yeah, glad to be done with that game. Glad to have it, like, off of my computer. Um, glad to be done with this one, too. This uh, this was all right. This was interesting. I um I was glad to check this out. I I have been wanting to look at this for a while. As some of you might know, we had tried to play this a few times prior on the channel and just had no luck with it. Um today was a different story. Or well, <laughs> last couple of weeks have been a different story. We managed to get through it and uh yeah, it, it, it was all right. It wasn't as full as I was expecting. And I don't know. It, 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 see, it was really simple. It was really simple in its like walk around and hit things and walk over here and like there was barely any puzzle mechanics. Like they they really seemed to commit to the idea that like using the hook shot to cross a gap counts as a puzzle. Um, like, just... I feel bad saying, like, lazy, uh, as a, you know, to describe the hard work that somebody put in. Um, but yeah, it, it just seems like there's, like, very little to no puzzle design in this, and that it's... I don't know like I felt like I did more walking around than anything else um and that's not really that's not the ref the feeling you want to come away from one of these games with like it's it's very clearly meant to be like a souls like or and a Zelda like and you know um sort of like blending elements of both of those but it kind of does neither like you you can see where it's trying to but it does it doesn't really do either of those things very well at all. Um, so I don't know. It's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It was an experience. I'm, I might play more of it at some point to get the secret ending for myself, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. It was a game. Definitely one of the games of all time, I will say that. Um, oh, well, I'm glad to have that out of the way. Uh, that means that we should have a, a free spot tomorrow, so we'll either play more Disco, or, or we'll play more Kirby, I don't know, one of the two, um, and then I think Friday I'll be off to do some work or whatever, 
Uh, hopefully next week, though. Um, I'm thinking next week, since we, we got through this and it's off the schedule, uh, maybe we will dive into the final chapter of Metal Gear. Or, well, not the final chapter, but... Uh, the next one, maybe maybe next week we'll we'll play some some MGS4 and start on that because um, I started uh, I started tinkering with something that uh, requires a little bit more knowledge of Revolver Ocelot, so I would like to see what all he's done with the ray he stole. Um, hopefully four will be better than two. Uh, I saw Kojima on Twitter saying something about, um, oh, right, yeah, E3 is done, like, like, it's, it's canceled, like, permanently, like, forever, I think, um, is, is at least what I got from the headlines they were posting, uh, and Kojima was, was on Twitter being like, oh, it's so sad, I have so many fond memories of, of being at E3. We showed off the original Metal Gear there. Uh, I have a very fond memory of showing off Metal Gear Solid 2 at E3. And I was like, oh yeah? Yeah, one of your most cherished memories is when you pissed off half of your fan base by lying to them and trying to sell them a game that didn't exist, you fucking shyster. Get out of here. <laughs> fucking, oh man. Like, I, I absolutely, like, respect the the idea behind MGS2 and, like, the attempt, but holy shit, man. Boy, was that the wrong fucking call to, to write that game the way they did. Um, yeah, hopefully 4 will be better. I think 4 is more of a movie as well. Um... God, I think it's like fucking 45 minutes from like the minute you hit start to, like f till when you actually get gameplay. I'm not quite sure, but we'll uh fuck, we'll figure it out. So tune in next week for that and until then check out whatever else we got going on or don't whatever your call. Either way, thank you for coming to hang out. I appreciate you guys being here, hanging out in the chat, the archive, wherever the hell you are. That's real cool of you. Thank you for spending your time here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll come back for more. Until then, take it easy. Stay inside and stay safe. Or, you know, go out and have fun and be cool, but be safe. Be hygienic and clean, and I will catch you guys next time. <gasps> Bye!